thank you for watching or listening to another message from me, Pastor Alan Pillay from Living Well Ministries. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. I want to bring another message to you or for you, and I hope it encourages you. The title of this morning's message is Jesus, Don't You Care? Jesus, Don't You Care? How often we all go through the motions thinking that God does not care for us. Sometimes we have an overwhelming sense of his presence and that he cares for us, especially when we have some needs met miraculously. And then we get excited and say, oh, God cares for me. God loves me. God is so good to me. But by and large, that doesn't happen all the time. There are times when we feel God doesn't care. God doesn't love. God has left us. And uh, and it happens to the best of us at all time. But I want to just encourage you with that question. Jesus, don't you care? There's a wonderful story, and we'll read that in Mark chapter 4, uh, verse 35 to 41. And then I'll just bring out a few points to reassure you, to reinforce that God really cares. So let's read the story. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we are going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind had stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and waves obey him. Another translation, don't you care that we are perishing? Very simple. Jesus is going out with his disciples on the boat. As they travel the Sea of Galilee, uh, they encounter an horrendous storm. So much so that the winds have come up, the waves are big, water fills in the boat. But yet Jesus is just sleeping contently, probably due to the tiredness of him uh, just uh, helping so many people on the other side of the lake. The disciples being seasoned sailors uh, and stroke fishermen uh, were were um, overwhelmed by the enormous uh, storm that uh, they, are, uh, they are now facing and they get scared. And uh, so they go and shake Jesus up while he's soundly asleep and say, Jesus, don't you care? Jesus, don't you care we are perishing? Jesus, don't you care that we are drowning? Jesus wakes up, he calms the storm just by speaking to it and the wind stops and the storm uh, stops raging. That is amazing story of the power of Jesus to calm storms. And that is a lesson we can all learn that Jesus calms storms even in our lives. And today, friend, uh, maybe that's a question you have. Maybe you have a question. Jesus, don't you care that we are going to drown? And maybe perhaps you are drowning in debt. Maybe you're drowning in sorrows. Maybe you're drowning in anxiety and troubles. And in your heart of hearts, are thinking and no doubt not saying, Jesus, does, do you really care for me? My friend, the short and simple answer is that God does care for you. God cares for you more than you know. God cares for you even when you're not even aware of it. God cares for you no matter what the nature of the storm is. God cares for you, my friend. I know some of you might be going through a difficult storm in your life today and you are thinking God does not care. But I want to assure you today that Jesus cares for you. Let me give you a few assurances from the Bible. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Read that verse again, friend, and speak it over your life. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. That is the most simplest assurance we can get, that God cares for you. And if it's in the Word of God, 
It applies to all of us and to you. Psalms 55, 22 says, Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Isaiah 49, 15 says, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, God says, I will not forget you. There's a comparison between God's care and God's love. What better picture of, a, of care than a mother feeding a child at a breast? And you know, that is something that is innate in all mothers. They take so much of care uh, for their kids. Uh, you and I are products of that care. Today, some of us are where we are because of the great care our moms took it as they would get upset if anything uh, uh, hill took a hold of us. But that's a mother's care. And even the Bible says sometimes a mother can neglect to care for a child, but God will not forget you. And what an assurance, friend, that you are well looked after by God. God takes care for you. And my purpose today is just to reinforce that truth to you. God does care for you because some of you need to know the message. Let me give you a few points. God never runs short. There is no lack in God. He is all you need and he is all you will ever need. How many times we chase after things that seem to be elusive. We chase after wealth. We chase after possessions. We chase after fame. We chase after recognition. Friend, Jesus is all you need and he's all you will ever need. God will supply all your needs, but not all your greeds. Do you get that? God will supply all your needs, but not all your greed. God says, everything you have comes from me. Everything you have comes from me. The breath that you breathe, the sunshine that you enjoy, the rain that uh, refreshes the hot days, the, the houses you live in, the cars. And we say, oh, we've done this. We paid for it. But you know, it is God who gives you the ability to create wealth and so be able to acquire all these things. What God owns, he looks after very well, including you. I want you to be assured that what God owns he looks after very well. God is not a wasteful God. God is not a, uh, a disinterested God. God is not uh, cluttered with things he, he doesn't uh, love. He loves all of us, including you. Point number two, don't despair, even if, you, if it seems you are stuck in a rut. I don't know if you are stuck in a rut with your job, with debts, with your impasse in certain things, maybe there's a relationship impasse where, where you're struggling. Whatever rut you are stuck in right now, Joseph was stuck in a rut. His rut was a prison. But as he entrusted himself into God's care, God took care of him, my friend. Whatever rut you are in, I want to show you, God will take care of you. If we are in the will of God, he will bring provision to us. We don't have to chase provision. It will chase us. We don't have to make things happen. God will bring them to us. We can only expect provision when we are faithful to where God has placed us. Let me read uh, Barnes commentary uh, on God's care. I'll read it slowly so you get the gist of the message. It is one of the glorious attributes of the true God that he can and will thus notice the needs of the mean as well as the mighty. And one of the riches of all consolations when we are afflicted and are despised by the world is the thought that we are not forgotten by our Heavenly Father. God who remembers the falling sparrow and who hears the young ravens when they cry, will, will he not be mindful of us? Yet the Lord thinketh of me was the consolation of David when he felt that he was poor and needy, when he felt neglected, Psalms 40, 17. Uh, Psalms 27, 10 says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Remember, poor, despised, afflicted child of God, that you will never be forgotten. Your friends on earth, whether great, whether frivolous, whether the noble, the rich, they might forget you, God never will. Remember that you will never be entirely neglected. Your father, your mother, your neighbor, your friend, 
those whom you have loved and those to whom you have done good may neglect you, but God will never. You may become poor and they may pass you by. You may lose your office. Your flatterers may, may no longer throng your path. Your beauty may fade and your admirers may leave you. You may grow old and be infirm and appear to be useless in the world and no one might seem to care for you. But it is not thus with the God whom you serve. When he loves, he loves always. If he regarded you with favor when you were rich, he will not forget you when you are poor. He who watched over you with the parents care in the bloom of youth will not cast you off when you are old and gray-headed. Psalm 71, 18. If we are what we should be, we shall never be without a friend as long as there is God. I richly believe the words of this commentator, Barnes. It is so true, friend. People will fail you. People must stop showing care. Even our family, our children, as we grow older, they might be so busy to show the care that you desire. But one thing I will assure you today, God will always care for you. Let's read some quotes. God wants to hear about our cares, not because he needs to hear them, because we need to tell him. The only way to be really happy in such a world as this is to be ever casting all our cares upon God. You know, friend, we need to cast our cares. We don't need to store that in our own human uh, body. We need to cast it. We need to, Jesus actually invites us to cast all our cares upon him. And when we do, we will travel light in this world without any burden. Another quote is because God knows everything about us, cares about us, helps us and listens to us whenever we turn to him. We are not carrying our burdens alone. We therefore have no reason to be bitter. And as I conclude today, maybe you are having a difficult time recently and maybe you need to hear this message again this morning. God loves you and he cares for you. God cares for me. God cares for his children. So here's my question again. Jesus, don't you care? The answer is yes, 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 he cares. How this message encourages you, my friend. No matter what you're going through today, just sh share your burden to God and say, Jesus, I believe through the word you care for me. I'm struggling. I'm in a rut. I'm having a difficult moment. And I assure you, friend, I've been there many times myself. God cares enough to listen. Maybe he won't give you the answer the same time. That's all you need to do is just be patient. Maybe the answer won't come in the package you did. You think it will come. But that's okay. When God gives you something, he always gives you his best. He always gives you what's right for that situation. And just be uh, humble, obedient, and thankful for what he has done. God really cares for you, my friend. I want to pray with you today. And if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, maybe you're going through a difficult time, a time that you seem like there's no hope, there's no way. But friend, I want to assure you, God cares for you. Jesus cares for you and he loves you. He wants the best for you. Let, let us pray. Father, we thank you that you care for us. The disciples thought that you didn't care for them, but you did. You showed by your power and your might that you really care for them. And Lord, you even compared us to sparrows and ravens and flowers of the field. And you said, how much more will a father in heaven who loves his children care for us? Today, I pray that this word will bring hope to people, encouragement and a bit of comfort, Lord, knowing that no matter what they're going through, God cares for them. I invite them, Lord, to pray and seek you. Uh, as the word says, cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. And Lord, if there's anyone here today who does not know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, they will simply say, Lord Jesus, come and live in my heart by your spirit and you will do likewise in Jesus name. Let us pray for the sick. Uh, God cares even for that aspect of your life. If you're unwell today, we believe for victory and healing. So Father, we pray that even in, in uh, our illness, you care for us. 
And Lord, there might be somebody here that might be having a chronic illness or a debilitating illness. Or uh, Lord, I'm just not feeling good. I ask that you would touch them today. This is how much you care. Lord, even in distance, you are able to place your hands upon them so that they might recover. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord smile upon you and give you peace. Yes, Jesus does care for you. Remember that. Be encouraged. God bless you.